reusability, if you look at it, it's been a lost art. During the resource boom, instead of reusing iron, we threw it away and put new iron straight in. Under the current markets, our customers have become very cost driven. We've listened to that and are now reinventing ourselves as an organisation and our use of the reusability guidelines within our components. We've reintroduced reusability into the business and what that means is uh, we already have the systems and the, uh, the access to that. Um, we've just needed to go back, reinitiate um, some close ties with, with Caterpillar and we've done that by introducing a reusability champion into the business uh, who's come out of the CRC and is now looking after not only reusability within the component rebuild centre but also across hydraulics uh, and in the uh, machine rebuild space as well. Uh, that allows us to have a direct link, um, not only to Caterpillar, but also to the customer um, and across the business with regard to reusability and the consistent application of process. Eight months ago, uh, West Track and Caterpillar engaged in a scrap bin analysis on all the iron that we've deemed unserviceable from powertrains components that we, that we disassembled a few months prior. So the Caterpillar representative and, and myself went through all that uh, iron and we got some feedback in regards to how well we were determining reusability in the CRC. The result of that scrap bin analysis was West Track changing the way that we approach reusability um, in, in the component rebuild centre. During a component overhaul uh, at the CRC at West Track, a technician will deem if a piece of iron is unserviceable. That is then double checked by the team leader, which in then gets passed on to the workshop coordinator. So this process ensures that we get a consistent, reliable component to the customer as cheap as possible. We've uh, engaged Caterpillar uh, at the next level up to ensure that we're bringing in their technology. Uh, we're leveraging off that relationship a lot harder uh, to apply their knowledge to their product in our environment, um, ensuring the customer gets their best value for money. We can draw information uh, at a moment's notice through our computer systems within the base uh, and then apply it straight to a component that's on the floor. Now, this is essential for reusability uh, as as soon as a technician assesses or inspects a component, uh, they can apply the reuse and salvage guidelines at a moment's notice. If they have an issue, they, they can put it through back through into Caterpillar uh, from the bay or they can engage one of the other technicians within the workshop. It just ensures that we are applying the, the most up-to-date information um, from the bay level with no dilution at all. The reusability guidelines uh, are something that CAT and, and the dealership family worldwide developed together. It's part of the program that we're running at the moment, having CAT here to help them develop um, reusability guidelines that are up to date using the latest technology with cameras, microscope, everything like that. So we know as a dealer that we're providing the most up to date information to the customer. It's, a, it's almost a continuous process. Uh, as we get gain new information, we, we make sure that the guidelines are updated. We don't wait until we have all the perfect information. As we learn, we update it, and it's a continuous process. And the, and the technicians here on the shop floor would see that. We want to provide a variety of options for our customers with different cost price bases that they can select as a solution that best suits them. We've also introduced a repair warranty stream. Now the repair warranty stream is not traditionally involved within a component rebuild centre. However, uh, in the marketplace we are now, um, the customer is more inclined to have a failure as they're pushing out their program maintenance intervals. Uh, as such, when they want their iron back, they need it back quickly. Um, and as they need it back quickly, we've put in that repair warranty stream to gain velocity, repair it, move it back to the customer, and get them what they what they want in a short time frame. We have the technology and the relationship with Caterpillar already. Uh, we have the tools by which to, to, to roll that into the workplace. What we're endeavouring to do now is to reinforce uh, the culture required for a technician on the floor uh, to understand why we shouldn't use a, a, a part or a component as opposed to why we should. Um, once we embed that culture within the, the business, then we'll start to 
to uh, evolve that capability into our engine section um, and then into other areas uh, of the business in hydraulics and, and machine rebuilds. So it's really about total cost of ownership. Uh, if total cost of ownership wasn't an issue, then the safe bet would be to use new parts every time. You wouldn't consider salvage or reuse of, of the existing part. But when you really care about the total cost of ownership, providing the lowest cost to the customer, you have to consider reuse and salvage.